Greetings everyone, this is Curtis Duncan, aka Dr. C, checking in with you. And today I'm going to give you another health myth that has greatly harmed the American people. There's this idea out there that the sunlight causes cancer. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the furthest from the truth. The sunlight does not cause cancer. Sun block does. Now, where did they, they get this idea from that the sunlight causes cancer? Well, just know this. That there are three types of skin cancer that you need to be aware of because that's what they're referring to when they say the sun causes cancer. The first one, the first two actually, are non-benign cancer tumors. Uh, non-benign in the sense they do, that they do not metastasize and they cause rel relatively less amounts of harm than the other type which actually directly correlated to a lack of sunlight. So 95% of the skin cancers in this country are non-benign cancer tumors. And they're essentially just like almost like little moles that you get on your skin. And those, those make up the majority of skin cancer cases. Now the deadly kind that many people like to say that the sunlight causes is known as malignant melanoma. Now this is uh, very rare but also very deadly and it causes 75% of the deaths of people who die from skin cancer in this country. Now this has been directly correlated to a lack of sunlight, particularly low amounts of vitamin D within the body. Also, new research has shown no direct uh, correlation between sunlight and malignant melanoma because that's the only skin cancer you need to be concerned with. It actually, this melanoma actually develops in many areas which are not even exposed to sunlight on your feet and etc. And, and some of the top states in this country that have malignant melanoma are actually places where they don't get a lot of sunlight. For example, the state of Washington. That, they actually have higher rates of melanoma than California and Florida. So why is that? The reason is, is because sunlight does not cause cancer and particularly it has been shown that people who get more sunlight and have more vitamin D in their system as a result of it actually have very very low rates of malignant melanoma. That's just an idea that is not based upon any type of science but rather science fiction. So now what are some of the causations of uh, malignant melanoma? Well of course our, our processed food diet, the consumption of very toxic uh, mega-6 oils, particularly corn and soy, uh, radiation, you know, just the typical things that people do in this country. And of course, you know, the sunblocks. The sunblocks actually actually contain PAB, which is a known carcinogen. It has been shown that as rates of sunblock go up, so do rates of skin cancer all around the world, in Australia in particular, where they ha have heavily marketed people to use sunblock. Rates of skin cancer, particularly the deadly kind, melanoma, have skyrocketed in that country because people are not getting enough sunlight and they're wearing uh, sunblock, toxic, toxic sunblock at that, which actually inhibits the production of vitamin D. So this, this, this sunblock stuff is causing us a lot of damage. And a recent report by the Environmental Working Group actually found that most of them don't even work. 84% of the sunblocks on the market do not even do what they are marketed as doing. And as I mentioned earlier, they contain uh, endocrine disruptors, so if women out there are looking to avoid fibroids, uh, your sunblocks are going to be a, a major source of what is known as xenoestrogens, which are estrogen mimicking chemicals which have been linked to breast cancer, endometriosis, and fibroid tumors. So uh, just, you know, these sunblocks are inherently worthless. Uh, there are some natural sunblocks we, which you can use, uh, sesame oil is one of them. But just know that all of these uh, toxic sunblocks out there, they are the reason, you know, due to the fact that they block the production of vitamin D, which Americans are grossly deficient in. It's uh, almost estimated about 70% of us are deficient in, deficient in vitamin D. And they contain known carcinogens, which will contribute to skin cancer. There has been a link that has shown that. So just know that these uh, sunblocks are inherently worthless. And this is just a medical myth. Uh, sunlight is perfectly safe and it, it, you know you can get uh, the sunlight can contribute to these non-benign cancer tumors but this usually results of 
this usually happens because people will get sunburned. So for people of lighter complexion, it's not recommended that you spend an order amount of time in the sunlight. But if you're of African descent, you don't need any sunblock whatsoever. You already have a natural sunblock in you, melanin, which I have, and you you know, you buying sunblock is, you know, it's just it's just very ignorant if you ask my particular opinion, because you do not need it whatsoever. You already have a natural sunblock within you that uh, the divine has given to you in order to protect you from the sun because you know many of the regions that uh, the African Americans and Native Americans come from they were exposed to a lot of sunlight so it was necessary for them to have this melanin in them to actually protect their sun from any type of skin damage but yes the sun can cause some free radical damage too I do agree with the scientific community on that but there are again there are ways in which you can prevent that you know really the best way is just to consume antioxidant foods because free radicals are essentially uh, you know substances that have been oxidized uh, and most of our substances that we're exposed to and have been oxidized actually comes from our food and water so the sunlight contributes very little to that because people aren't even getting sunlight so that's the real re that's what's really going on here people they're trying to blame um, you know something that's very important for our planet for all our ignorance and our lack of awareness when it comes to health but it's you know there's no scientific data to support this particular claim and it has been shown that sunblocks can actually increase the risk of cancer due to uh, some of the toxic ingredients that they have in them and the fact that they inhibit the, 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 the creation of a very important anti-cancer nutrient so that's all I wanted to uh, tell you for today it's a short video but thanks once again for checking in with me I will be doing another video about people who live in certain geographical areas and how they could be at risk for vitamin D and what they could do to it and always I have an excellent recording that details all of this actually discusses how to um, minimize any damage that might occur from being out in the sunlight you know because some free radicals are created but there is a, a very wonderful plant-based ingredients and you know vegetables that you can consume that will neutralize any damage that happens and also uh, many natural ingredients that you can use on your skin if you are exposed to any type of sunburn and I also detail some of the natural sunblocks that, that you can use that don't contain all the, uh, the, the chemicals and the, endo and the estrogen mimicking chemicals in them so you can check out more information about that recording is called the importance of sunlight and vitamin D to your upper right and that's it. Have a wonderful day and be sure to get some sunlight today, y'all. It's the summertime and hey, it's the perfect time to get it in. Take care. Peace.